This video is part of a project for the Element 14 community, the electronics and engineering community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com, link in the doobly-doo. All right, so it's sitting about halfway, and that's sitting about halfway. So then we can start to move that. Look at there. Hey, baby. If you like making electrical connections, and screwing around in the shop, why don't you click that subscribe button? Oh, you click it so well. Go ahead and ring my bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's get it on. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and this is the Arduino Uno. And with it, we are going to build a little device to determine the romantic capacity between two individuals. So the idea here is that there's a certain level of electrical conductivity between two individuals uh, so that like, you know, if they if they're more attracted to each other when they're holding hands, their hands are going to be a little sweatier, uh, you know, anything like that. They're going to be more conductive. Uh, so there's going to be a greater ability to pass that voltage from one through to the other. Um, it's all pseudoscience BS. It doesn't actually mean anything. It's just a neat little novelty that we can exploit to make a neat little gadget. If you want to learn more about electrodermal activity, you can click the card in the upper right hand corner. But in the meantime, let's take a look at what we're going to need to build this little thing. Okay, so when I got our basic supplies right here, yeah, I got my good old Arduino. Uh, we're going to simulate, because there's just me right here, and I love myself so much that it's just going to show, uh, <laughs> it's not going to show any kind of resistance, uh, so it's just going to be 5 volts passing through. Um, not a problem. So uh, we're going to use a 1K potentiometer to simulate uh, any sort of discrepancies between two people and, and give it a little bit of resistance there. We're going to have our output on one of these little servo guys. And then, of course, got a breadboard, our computer to get everything set up, and some jumper wires to connect everything in between. So let's go ahead and start looking at how this circuit goes together. In this particular case, I'm going to start with the code and work my way backwards with the circuit to kind of put everything together the right way. So basically we have three parts to this sort of Arduino sketch. The first part, we need to be able to measure the connectivity uh, of you know the body that it's going through as an analog input. So we're gonna have a digital pin set high at five volts, and then we're gonna send that voltage through the body, in this case it's gonna be through a potentiometer, uh, to an analog input, and we're gonna measure what's left over, essentially. Now, we're gonna convert that analog value into a percentage of the voltage maximum. So a percentage of that five volts because the Arduino runs on five volts. That's not a completely necessary step, but it's nice to get a serial output and we'll be able to kind of diagnose that. And maybe we'll be able to play with that doing some other things on the big main project Eros, uh, which you can get a link to in the doobly-doo, or probably up here in the corner too. Thirdly, we're going to map that analog value to a particular deflection of the servo. So we'll be able to map it and have a certain amount of deflection that's relative to the um, total, that percentage of the five volts that's coming through. So let's start with this first part right here. Let's go put some code together and then we'll put it into the circuit and we'll see exactly what we get. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just make sure that this is working. So we're going to send five volts out of pin 13 and we're going to sense whatever is coming in on A0. While that's uploading, we'll look at this code here. Basically, what you've got is just setting pin 13 as an output uh, and starting the serial monitor at 9600 baud. Then we're gonna set the five volt pin to high, which is pin 13, we're setting that to high, that's five volts out. And then we're going to declare this variable sensor value as whatever the uh, analog zero pin is reading coming in. And then we'll just print that on the serial monitor. Let's open up our serial monitor 
There shouldn't be anything coming through. It's just floating a little bit. But if we take this, so I'm touching that, and I'm touching that, and yeah, we're getting, you know, like 1023 is the value. That's five volts. That's, that's full deflection. Uh, and then we let go, and it's just going to float back down to about three. So we're going to have to have a pull-down resistor in there just to keep it from floating a little bit. Uh, but that's going to tell us what we need. And so we got that going. Now we just need to start worrying about uh, getting the full deflection. So we've got zero and we've got five volts. So now we got to get all the stuff in between. So I got to add that potentiometer in line and then we'll see what we got. Okay, so we've got uh, pin 13 going into the... Uh, input of the potentiometer, we have ground on the output, and then the voltage divider, the center pin, uh, going into our analog. So now we can go from zero volts all the way, well, not zero volts, four, five millivolts or something like that anyway, but effectively zero, up to, um, looks like it's maxing out right at a thousand, which is fine. I mean, we've got that. We'll just map it Okay, so now we can vary our voltage, and then we'll be able to map that to our servo, and we should have some deflection. So let's go ahead and wire this guy in and add the code for that. All right, now we've got our servo wired in here. I've, I've put the signal wire as pin 12. So you'll see that here in the code. And we have added a few lines here. Now we've got uh, our servo library included. We have declared the name of our servo, which is needle. And then we've attached the servo to pin 12. Done a little bit more here. I have gone ahead and I've changed this line so when it reads in the serial monitor it's actually going to show the voltage and not just a rel relative analog value. In order to do that you divide 5 volts by 1024 and then you get 0 0.0048 which is the value of each individual tick on the ADC. Uh, lastly we have added in our servo here so we are declaring this meter variable to be the same thing as the sensor value. Then we're going to map that value between zero and 180 degrees on the servo so it can go full deflection one side to the other. And then we simply write that value, that angle. The servo knows where that angle is. We just write the value of that angle to the servo and it just sits there and points and holds right there. And then we put a little delay in there just to clean everything up. So it's sitting about halfway. And that's sitting about halfway. So then we can start to move that. Look at there. It's all the way to one side. And all the way to the other. Okay, so we have tested it with our potentiometer and we know we have mapped our servo correctly. Now we got to give this sort of a live fire exercise uh, just to see how it works in a... Uh, <laughs> well, there's only me here still, but we're going to play around with that a little bit. So... Here we have it wired up. Now, you'll remember I mentioned that we do need pull-down resistors in this circuit. And the trick is that you have to find a uh, you have to find a resistor value that is orders of magnitude greater than any potential resistance in your skin. That way the electricity will flow uh, through you into the sense pin rather than it draining off into ground. In that case, I've settled on 40 mega ohms as a value for this pull down. Now, that may depend on your situation. 40 mega ohms works pretty decently here to still give me a full range of values. All right, so let's give it a try here. I'm going to plug in. You'll see it's kind of it's kind of awkwardly floaty. Uh-huh. 
So there we are at about four and a half volts is our, our full deflection here. So that's with just me, so there's very little resistance there. Um, if I licked my fingers, I could probably get probably about the same, maybe a little bit better. Ah, there we go, like 4.8, got a little bit better. That's that. Now let's simulate uh, what's going on with, say, another person. This is a 10 mega ohm resistor that I'm going to use to simulate, you know, a little bit of resistance between two people. So I'm touching the power there and then over here, showing about 3.7-ish on that connection. So it does work and it's showing variable uh, output based on uh, some amount of resistance there. So that's really all we need to do right now just to get this thing going. But you'll be able to see all of that in the full Project Eros video at element14.com. There's a link in the doobly-doo. Uh, you'll be able to check that out there. In the meantime, there's a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy. If you want to get the code for all of this, check out the show notes. There's a, a link somewhere over here. Uh, subscribe over here, social media at Airborne Surfer on Twitter, at The Airborne Surfer on Instagram. You can see all the interesting stuff and works in progress there. Uh, my name is Atari, and until next time, tally ho, y'all.